like we need to move along. Yeah. The, the, like, you know, the, all the abortion laws coming okay. in. So politically. And, yeah, like all the gun crimes, yeah. things like that. Like, I, I imagine like the most of the country is absolutely lovely, but there's some of the morals that are just a little bit off for me. So yeah. I struggle with that. I agree, but I do think... Yeah, which is like, the, the truth is that most of the people in the US uh, are actually in favor of abortions. Like they are, like most people here are, are, are pro-abortion. Uh, they listen to the news, yeah, exactly, right? And uh, the guns and everything like that, for sure. You all like proper chatty and that. It's not true. And you really energetic. No, I'm not, it's not about whether it, you look at it, go look it up, look it up. Just go, go look it up, Let's look at a poll, like it's easy. Like, I mean, what the fuck? Every poll says this. It. Yeah. So it's a positive thing. Yeah. I, was but I also agree with that as well. Yeah. It's lovely yeah. to meet Americans. Yeah. Yeah. Love meeting Americans. Okay, so why am I so interested in this topic? Well, over the last few years, I have shared my journey moving abroad and looking for a home. Because that home is not the United States. I just don't feel connected to that country. Not as a home, even though I'm coming to realize that it did shape me in many ways. I'm just trying to find my place. But as I've said before, different people will treat you in different ways based off yeah. of how they perceive you. The first time I experienced this was during my high school exchange in France when I was 16 years old. Obama was president, and regardless of your personal political opinions or feelings, Things, he was seen in generally positive light abroad. So in a yeah, weird people way, loved Obama. Absolutely. Way, even though yeah. I was not responsible for electing him, I wasn't even of age to vote, that scored me some cool points. And then on top of it, 16-year-old French kids living in a small town in the west of France thought it was cool that I rode a yellow bus to school and yeah, that sure. I had my own personal locker in the United States. So I was benefiting from all these things that I didn't really control it all. Then I get to Argentina. Over in Europe, they still have to use horses. Later. And I see what it's like to be on the flip side, where the general yeah. sentiment was more negative. I'm generalizing here, but there's a bit of an anti-American streak in Argentina. And I think this comes down to the image that the United States has of being a bit of a bully. I mean, Che Guevara is a bit of an anti-American, anti-capitalist symbol, right? So that was a very different experience. Because we fuck with them. Like, yeah, like, of course they're gonna fucking hate us. Yeah, of course. Like, what do you mean? I'm back in Europe yeah. and I've been here for a while and the perception has changed yet again. 90% of the Dutchmen think uh, Trump is quite strange. Yeah. They think Republicans are also quite strange. And that Americans are very Puritan. This might just be me, but I do feel like the true. image of Americans has deteriorated a little bit over the last 10 years. That might come down to who the government is currently in power. It might come down to yeah. social media. This is a very complex thing, so I can't point to a single reason, but it's definitely a feeling that's there. Now, on a personal level, before I realized that this was going on, I was kind of unintentionally overcompensating. I felt like I needed to show that I wasn't the out-of-touch American in Europe. And the same thing happened to me in Argentina where I was speaking with as much slang as I possibly could that I picked up over there, even when it was just way too much, when it was inappropriate. Que San Paolo, boludo, tre piola, vive mal, mal. Why was I acting like that? Was there a deeper need within me to be accepted by the people that I am surrounded by? To me, it's a little bit cringy to behave that way. Because it it's is. Over this is the thing. Is like I, I remember, like, I've always tried to... That's one of the things that people like about Trump, by the way. It's the fact that he acts like an asshole everywhere. It's not like he's he's nice to some people. He's mean to everybody. And like nobody ever respects any degree of like code switching or like acting different around other people. Right? You mean an idiot? Well, you want to say it whatever you want to say, but like if you don't like him, that's fine. But like you have to look at what people say. And I think that to be fair, that's true, right? He pretty much acts the same about everybody. He's authentic. Yeah, whether you like it or not, he is. And um or at least he's the same brand of inauthentic in all places, right? I, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna get into fucking, I don't wanna get into some like weird argument about like Trump or some shit. The point is that if you go and you try to get people to accept you, that's the last thing that you're, that they're gonna do. Like you can never get people to accept you. They'll never do that. We're compensating for something, which